and it's very stormy outside. So I'm, I'm doing this more for my testing purposes than anything else and uh, just having a little bit of fun. And I've got, this is one of the new palettes here. This is the Sea Monkeys palette. Oh, by the way, I'm Jane Davenport. Just whatever. Okay. <laughs> but this is the new Sea Monkeys palette. I've just popped a little bit of water on there. And I'm just going to click chat there. Hey, Faye. Oh, you're very patient, darling. Right. Here is Sea Monkeys. Now, Sea Monkeys, to me, is the 80s. I know they've been around for a lot longer, but this is reading Archie and Veronica comics and seeing these ads in the back for these uh, fabulous little creatures. So all of the names are inspired by the things with how they were described back then. They were a little bit of a scam, really, weren't they? Uh, funny little creatures that they were, but I love them nonetheless. Now I'm just trying to sort my microphone out. Just give me a minute. Right. Now I've got this big, big, big journal. This The cover itself is over 150 years old. Oh, oh, things falling down over there. And inside, so it was empty when I got, I think it might have just had this a couple of pieces of paper in there and it's an old Victorian era scrapbook so 1876 is the date on the back of it it's 147 yes I said that and I've been painting with layer cake in it in some of the new palettes so this is sea monkeys but there's also joy of life which is this one which is inspired by uh, the orphaned elephants, rhinoceros and giraffe that I sponsor in Kenya and the Sheldrick Trust. Oh, they are the best, all the anti-poaching things and wild rescues and all sorts of things that they do. And I, just, I love looking at them on Instagram every day. Uh, just looking at baby elephants makes me happy. And these are all, re the, these are pages in here that I've painted and adding all of these gorgeous colours to this gold and this uh, all of these beautiful things. This is the icing on the layer cake palette. These are chameleon colours. These are new metallics. So there's five new metallics here, six new metallics here in the new sets. And, well, these are sort of metallic as well, but they're a chameleon. They're a colour shifting layer cake. And this here, that part of her face, is... Strange name for a palette. They pretty much all are, though. I mean, we've got Golf Pants, Santa Baby. They're all strange names. This is Puppy Circus. And Puppy Circus is obedience training that we have for my very small dogs. And they're so small, I don't know if we really can call it obedience training. But that's just a little snippet of what's in this big giant journal. I've stitched in pages and stitched paper together. Oh, I forgot about her. And this is using a little bit of the pinkyosity. Hey, Claire. Hey, Kim. Hey, Julie. Is, how's the sound? Everything's going good? Let me know. Oh, Evie is there. Okay, so I can't see anyone that's on YouTube. So does that mean it's not working? Or I would, I'll work it out later. Um, this is the pinkyosity uh, colour wheel. And... Colour wheels, I like a little vibe of six colours as opposed to the big they cake palettes. All of these just as a little showcase. Uh, the palettes for the layer cakes are removable. And the whole thing with layer cake, it's like a giant pan watercolour slash crossed with gouache. Uh, it's a water media, but it layers on itself more like an acrylic but it does remain water soluble it's just the best thing to layer on top of layer cake is layer cake itself hence the name so let me i had a little idea for what i wanted to create on here like i said i wanted to use sea monkeys how this is going to turn out on something that's already colorful this is all watercolor on here from the color library how that's going to turn out here, I'm not too sure. We'll just experiment and find out together, shall we? 
So maybe if I, I've got a little bit of a pencil sketch that I've started with. Uh, and this is one of the new Sketcher Size pencils, fantastic creatures. And you might not be able to see the little sketch here, but I can just make it out. And the beautiful thing about metallics is they're not just glowy and lustrous, but they also do have that little bit of opacity um, to them. So sometimes I sort of think we think of, of metallics more as a topper maybe that's just me but really to give it a, their give them their due they're they can be used in all sorts of other ways and I, I, I like to try and reverse what it is that I think something should be doing and just approach it from a different angle just for myself just uh, to make things I don't know more fun really so I'm going around the edge. This is just going to look like a great big fairy floss on a stick for the time being. And I'm using a colour that's not going to stand out too much yet because I'm not ready for it to, to stand out quite yet. And in fact, what I might do now is I might block in her skin tone I'm just going to, now with layer cake, you can see how I used it there. I've added water and I've used it like a watercolour. And so it's quite light, but if I activate the paint, I'm just going to, even if you've been here a thousand times, you already know all of this. I'm just going to pretend no one knows what I'm talking about so that you, <laughs> I'm explaining things as I go, right? Um, so you can see this is the same colour, it's just, like watercolour, the more water you to it, but you can't get this sort of opacity with just normal old watercolour. This is more like gouache. So because I've activated it a little bit more, I'm getting more opacity. Now underneath this is watercolour. So as I hit it with something that's got liquid in it, it might activate what's underneath. And how much it activates it just depends mainly on the paper uh, more than anything else. Now I think I might give her a fringe, so I'm not going to take that skin tone up any higher. And I've just started with a beige because I can always make this lighter or darker, just depending. I just want human, a human colour, and then I can change things up. So Puppy Circus, with the strange name, extends the portrait range and I, I've got quite a few portrait based colours. Again, weird name, Sushi Roll, fabulous portrait set. And these are all new different colours that extend this range. Uh, but this especially extends, this is the Countenance palette with names like Visage, Kisser, Glow, Boat Race. So you can see that it's beiges and, but they're, and coral so this is a sort of pink in faces in waterline in just the veins and whatnot that are under the skin cheeks lips so this is just a nice warm coral and a variety of browns and beiges just like uh, this so it just extends that collection and it's yeah like i said puppy circus is uh, just a very special day around these parts it was going to be puppy circus today, but it was raining so intensely and it kind of got rained out because we set it up on the lawn and there's a seesaw and weave poles and a party tunnel and um, jumps and the little dogs do, <laughs> do their tricks. Popcorn is the best at everything and Zorro is the best at jumps because popcorn's very short. So it's not that, it's not willingness, it's just he's, he's very short. Uh, but Zara can't do the seesaw. So eventually we will get him to do that. So what, I've, what I'm thinking is this is going to be like a big thing of balloons or lollies, flowers something colourful uh, that's floating behind and then she's almost like a stalk. Oh, maybe it would be flowers then. 
Well, I'm not too sure about that. I just have the amorphous shape so far and I need to get in her hair colour. So I'm going to go around it and maybe I will let her hair colour be this. Actually, I just need to come down a little bit. So let me see if I can lift that without lifting the background. We'll just see. No, that's going to lift the background. Okay. That does still help me see what I'm doing. Now, let me get this here. Um, they look, they're not neon. The colour on the video, um, I don't think that's, things don't focus anymore. Okay, when I lift them up, oh, it's just to stop the camera bouncing, I think we decided. Uh, not to have it. I might define her hair with a little bit of orange. Always with metallics is a good idea to activate the paint. It doesn't really matter if, well, metallic, uh, sorry, acrylic's not going to matter. I mean, she can have red hair, orange hair. So this is just going to be her fringe coming down here. And this is all metallic, so if I move the paper, you can see it. Metallic's quite good uh, for just this amorphous sort of stage because if I move, I can see very clearly where I've gone. But dead in front, it's still quite subtle. But I'm, I'm, getting, I'm inching closer to where I'm off to. So I'm going to pop her hair into a little... Bun, and I'm going to give her a big bow here. No, that would be the middle there. Now, might, let's see if I can get that detail. It might be that this isn't I'm going to give her a chunky coat. It's cold here today. We've had, we've really needed rain, that's great. But it's, it's like suddenly winter again. Okay, so I'm going to put her in a coat that I wish I was wearing. <laughs> okay, so that's going to go like that. And if I don't do it wafting off in the breeze, then the coat will look more woolly. Like more, uh, like a stiffer fabric. But if I do it more with more undulation, more movement, it's going to look like a softer fabric. But I think I just want it to look like a big chunky coat. Big sleeves, like she's holding her hands in front of her body. I don't really have to add much detail, maybe just a little bit of this sort of thing. So should that be a pink? Oh, maybe her coat should be pink then. Because she's got a pink bow, I'm not sure. Maybe she's got pink shoes. Maybe they should be a little bit kitten heely. Oh yes, it could be some little feather fans. But I think it's too cold for her to be wearing doing feather fans. Oh, I'll just I'll re I'll sh reshape her foot later. I'll work that out. If I add that in there, I can reshape it a little bit there and then. And I am going to come in. I might use the Joy of Life palette. And I'm going to get Doldol, which is a beautiful blue. I'll just show you on here. I've got other things mixed in with it, but this is a really nice um, blue. And 
Doll Doll is, was a tiny, tiny, tiny little elephant, the first little elephant that I adopted and she was the smallest uh, rescue uh, or adoptee, like baby, and she maybe even was premature, like was a tiny little elephant and she was sort of the reason I started uh, adopting elephants, you know. And um, because she just was so precious and she didn't, and her little blanket was bl this blue. And, you know, it's just, it's unfortunately with wild animals, um, no matter how hard people try, you know, that's just, sometimes little ones don't make it, but that doesn't stop anyone from, continuing to try their best for the little creatures. Well, actually elephants are quite big even when they're little really. So I'm just adding some little highlights on here. So the blue is quite good to start off with because uh, it means that I've got plenty of room to carry on with later. Now her hair might be a little bit Hi, I might bring her fringe down a little bit more, but this is all, um, her face is where I want it, so that's all going to work out well. And I might use, so I used a little bit of white from that countenance uh, palette, and this is one of the new ones, this is that Puppy Circus. And this is more of a cream, not as cream as this one, but I could mix the two together and just get halfway between the two. And I just mix them on the palette. I know that does drive some people a little bit crazy, but you just, they're very easy to clean. Just clean it off with water and a brush. If you need a pristine bit of colour, it doesn't harm the little palette in any way. No palettes were harmed in the making of uh, anything. <laughs> I'm just looking, just checking everything. Yeah, so I don't, oh yeah, Sam is there from Facebook. Oh, I mean from YouTube. Thank you for letting me know, Sam. Okay, now I, I think I might come in with, I might use this one, or should I go Pinkiosity? Oh, why not? Uh, I'm using the brush ballet brushes. You can use any brush with the acrylic ones or the brush ballet with these. See, this neon's really going to pop, pop, pop. So I've got Barbie, Bubblegum, Taffy, that's all the cool ones. And Coral Ballerina and Shell are these warmer pinks. Um, so this almost looks like a purple. It's so cool. But if, if I just had it there on its own... I mean, you can, it's a pink. It's just that when it's sitting with those, it almost looks purple. So I'm going to add a little bit of this. This is going to be very matte. So it'll ha this will have a little acrylic, sorry, acrylic. It'll have a little bit of a metallic glow is what I meant to say. I was just thinking, well, I'll definitely, I'll give her a little bit of pink on the legs. This brush is going to be the wrong size. What was I thinking? Mm-hmm. So these are new colours. And pinkiosity is just describes extreme, just means extreme pink. So she's got neon pink, Mary Jane. So at first glance she looked quite conservative, but really. Very big feet though. I'm going to give her metallic purple to puddle to stand on. And then around here I might start I might give her some voltage colours. Why not? And then we'll just pick out what this is going to be. 
Oh, come on, fine. Why are you so difficult? Ooh, Angus has cooked dinner. Okay, so that bow needs to not be that colour. Yeah, I think she's going, this is going to be flowers. So I'll leave some can be, I'll leave a little bit of that blue in there too. And again, if I activate this a little bit more, I'll get, oh, yum, actually. Look what happened there. I'm just going to dab my brush over the two little lines. Oh, I need to get a bit more, wiggle my little brush into that pink a bit more. And I can get some little two coloured shapes. Can use oh, lots of different brushes. I might do that same thing, but I might go. I might split my brush like this, and load my brush up. Oh, oh it's a bit more of a subtle effect. It's very nice. Oh, that would be nice to create some little petals. Get a bit of a warmer pink happening too as a little contrast. Pop that on her cheeks a little bit, I think. Let's get some metallic. Oh, the orange is going to look great in here too. So the pink is called Clowning Around. Let's get it in there as a contrast in here. And let's get a little bit of living plasma and we'll also have just add water. Oh, especially down here maybe. So these are all wording from, oh yes, yeah, let's put that on top of that. So we've got the glowing colour on the very matte, so as a contrast. And let's get this hair orange um, a bit more defined and I'll get her little bow more defined too. I'm going to bring her fringe down a little bit more oh her bow shouldn't be orange her bow should be let's do oh I might even bring in the icing uh, I'll let that dry I need to let it all dry Okay, and now this is looking too much like an outline, so I might, if I bring, this was, I used just add water, didn't I? Oh, 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 no, 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 okay. So this is the icing on the cake, and these are the chameleons. So let's, I'm going to bring some of these on. So this isn't an, an outline, this is some of the flowers, or whatever this jungle that she's walking around with a part of so this is chantilly pastelage sprinkles royal icing fondant these are all types of icings icings on the cake toppers And I might even put in a little, let's put in some of the meringue as a little highlight. Might need to make those colours a bit juicier, I think. Oh, and this is one of my favourites on for the planet. This is buttercream. This is a gold. Oh, I might even give her a little bit of that on the hair. And even in her eyes, this is not the brush to do that with, but I can sort that out a bit later. And I might, with sprinkles, would that assist? Why not? This is going to be a little bit sheer. I've got plenty of water in there. I'm going to put that over. So I've still got 
this um, on her little jacket, but I'm just helping her stand out a little bit, uh, bit by bit. And then I can leave this background. I might even give her some little stockings. in this white. I sort of feel like I'm trying to keep this uh, here, but I think I need to just let that, that background go because I'll, I'll let it be here. And these things will evolve as we go. Oh, the icing on the cake. Colours are just so glorious. And then I'm going to need more contrast here. Which I will get as we go. Let me grab a pencil. You can, I think you can see what it is that um, you're picking up, what I'm putting down so far, right? Oh, I wonder if we're dry enough. And always add definition. You don't have to add, only add definition with a dark colour. You can always add definition with a light colour as well. Oh, it's a bit, it's a bit um, not uh, dry enough completely here yet. Okay, and then I will redefine things. I really do need to let that dry. And everything will be very cute. Yes, and then these will be petals. that she's sitting in here. And this iridescent background that I gave her before, I'll soften off a little. Now, that's going to soften off the watercolour under it as well. Hmm, that could actually be advantageous. Let's just see. Yeah, just so it's not an outline so much. It's just a little shadow. Uh, and then we'll just let things dry. Oh, I've got my biggest brushes that I keep grabbing and they're just going to make things too difficult for me. So I just need to push them to one side. Oh, we'll give her a little bit of metallic on the lips. And then we're going to let that dry and I'm going to Oh, I can't, I can't let it go until I've got it at, to a point where I'm sort of like enjoying it myself. Okay, she's getting there, isn't she? Oh, well. I'm going to say thank you for joining me for this part. This is going to be a work in progress. And um, the, the, the challenge will be with this is getting this. There's already a lot going on on the page with all colours and then getting this so it stands out and makes sense. So how I get this to make sense, I'm not sure yet. We'll just... Uh, <laughs> keep working on it but I'll let it dry first and we're off to a good start. But thank you so much for joining me. Uh, all of the palettes of course you can find at janedavenport.com and 
there's all lots of gorgeous ones. Tons, tons. And uh, yes, I shall see you later.